It's time for one of our favorite segs when we get to answer all of your burning questions. Get ready to hashtag ask the doctors. And our first question is via Facebook from Denise. She asks, I've been suffering from severe butt cheek cramps three to four times a week, and it's unbearable. You're not alone. I was told it could be a potassium issue, but I've been taking vitamins and eating bananas. Trying to stretch it out only makes it worse. Can you please help me out? Have you ever had? Have you ever had a butt cramp? No. No. I mean, I've had cramps in my calves and in my in the arch of my foot when I wear high heels. I have never had and, severe butt and cramps. And the typical cramp in the hamstrings, yeah. the, the big muscles at the back of the thigh. Oh. Is that painful? Cramp, anyone who's ever had a cramp knows that yeah. it's disturbing, yeah. it's it's difficult to deal with. A lot of times can be And I'm tough warning to you treat. too, as you get a little older, you're gonna see more of these. And my wife and I were similar age. Typically you get these either in the middle of the night or early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And it's one of us going, ah! And the other one's going, what is it? And those cramps. So let's break down cramps a little bit, okay? Because I think it's important. There are different causes for cramps. And actually, you're spot on with this question of, could it be low potassium? Electrolyte abnormalities can absolutely cause cramps as well as dehydration. So there are acute cramps after, for instance, you start running and you haven't been running for a while, or you run a marathon, or you work out really hard in the gym. So let's just say in this case, you're doing all these new gluteal workouts and working your butt more. Overuse can cause cramps, so that could be a cause. But in general, if you're having cramps over and over again in the same region, maybe it's your tricep, or your calf, or in this case, buttocks, and it's going on for months and months, that's gonna be highly unusual to be an electrolyte abnormality or dehydration because you're gonna be thinking more so full body. If, if you have true electrolyte abnormality, you might have a cramp in your thigh, and then you might have one in your calf. I do, and this is as much as being a doctor as it is from personal experience, if there's a certain area of the body, obviously overuse can cause it, but also you gotta start thinking about nerve entrapment. And in this case, there's something called piriformis syndrome, where a muscle in your butt can irritate the sciatic nerve, and, and spasms of that muscle, they irritate the nerve, and then that firing can cause the, the spasms of the muscle, which essentially are cramps. And it's funny, because when I heard this story, I was thinking back to when I had my pinched nerve in my neck, I'd just lay in bed at night, every single night, and during the day, just my tricep would just fire all day, and, and, and just all the time, and so you've got to ask yourself, if this has been going on for this long, is it time to get evaluated? Because you don't want to mess around with nerve root compression or other potential abnormalities causing long-term cramps to the same exact region I mean, over and over. You see it in the hand as well with carpal tunnel syndrome uh, and compression of the median nerve in the wrist. You'll start seeing these muscles of the thumb contracting. It's similar to what you were having in your arm, your shoulder, that an entrapment phenomenon can cause your muscles to contract. And I will say this also, because typical parlance, you call them what, Charlie horses? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's just a run of the mill, stretching can help. Rehydrating. If you've started a new exercise regimen, cool off a little bit. Give your body a chance to heal. If you're still having these cramps over and over again, go talk to a doc.